Hey guys, and welcome to Ask Alley, your place for spiritual advice for busy people. Ask Alley is the longest running spiritual podcast on iTunes. I've been helping others there since 2005. You can also catch the podcast on Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, True FM, Google Play, along with watching it on YouTube. Today is Monday, October 29th, 2018. I want to thank you for tuning in and giving me a listen to. If you'd like to get a reading or have your energy balanced, find out more about me or support the podcast, I'll leave the information below in the show's notes. And don't forget, if you like this episode, please rate it. I have a cold. Um, just happened last night, of course, to start a brand new week. So I apologize if I sound kind of stuffy or launch into a coughing fit. Um, it happens. I'm around children all day, and... We all know those things are little germ carriers. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this is probably going to be me for most of the winter. Happy Halloween! Coming up on Wednesday, the 31st. Um, do you have any big plans for Halloween? Are you going to go to a costume party? Or are you taking your kids trick-or-treating? Or are you going trick-or-treating? Or are you just going to spend it quietly at home? Maybe casting a spell? to talk to others, talk to um, those who have gone to the beyond, or maybe talk to guides or angels, or maybe you would like to do a spell um, to bring some more money, or maybe love, whatever it is. <clears throat> I wish you luck with it. Just a little bit of um, insider knowledge that this week has um, the red energy, which... Um, Controls, there we go, controls anger, frustration, passion, manifestation, running through, it's like underneath the skin just about all week long. So if you are doing a spell on Wednesday for anything, make sure that there is no anger or frustration coming through as you are doing, um, saying the words and doing the ritual. Take a deep breath and um, just concentrate in on passion and manifestation as you are um, going through your steps. Okay? Uh, did you know? Did you know this? This has nothing to do about Halloween, but about the podcast that you're listening to right now. That if you support this podcast at the $25 level, you get little perks like being able to ask me questions every week, um, getting a weekly card pull just for you, and uh, getting copies of my work before I release it to the public. Did you know you could do that? Well, if you'd like to be part of the insider group here, the VIP group at the Ask Alley podcast, <clears throat> the information is below in the show's notes. And the questions, I've had a wide range of questions people ask me anywhere from uh, magic to manifestation, uh, meditation, um, to the deceased, People ask readings, so I, I do a reading, and or people ask straight questions. It doesn't matter what you ask me. You're allowed to ask, ask whatever you want um, at this level. And the way I give you the answers is I do a coffee with Allie once a week, um, and in the coffee with Allie, I answer your questions. So whatever you ask, the group that is part of the $25 a month level, here's my answer which is not all of you. You know, it's it's a sm much smaller group than who listens to this podcast every week. <clears throat> but that's something to think about. All right. And uh, something else to think about. It's time for the Oracle Card Overview of the Week for October 29, 2018. This week I'm using a new deck. I know. Surprise, surprise. Um, the Spirit Animal Oracle Cards uh, by Colette Baron reed I just got this deck last week. I've been working with it, kind of excited with it. Um, love the pictures. I, I'm a big animal lover, as you guys know. So, you might pick yourself up a deck. I'll leave that link below, too. Alright. So, let's see what's coming up for this week. With the underlying red energy for all of us. Yeah, there's red energy in everything we do this week. Everything. So you have a chance of turning the red into passion or manifestation, or you can turn it into anger and frustration. What you do with the red energy is totally up to you. 
All right. So this week we have card one. We have card two. And last but certainly not least, card three. All right. And if you want to see the picture uh, pictures of these cards, you can either Google them or you can watch the video. All right. So, ooh. Oh, how fun. We got good cards this week. <coughs> the first one, and this is one of my favorite cards, no matter what deck it's in, this particular animal. It is the bee spirit. Look at that. Pretty, huh? Bees are good luck in the Romney culture. So, sweet results await is what the bee is telling us this week. So, if we've put some seeds down and we've been working towards a result this week, some people may hear your result. Now, remember, this is an overview. Every card doesn't necessarily pertain to each person who listens. Now, the second card we have is the White Raven Spirit. Trust in the magic. You know, we're not always privy to what goes on. Most of the time, I don't think we're privy to most. But there's always magic going on behind the scenes. Always. And if we just let the magic happen without trying to control it, I think we'd be amazed at what we might find. Um, being a Taurus, I am a control freak. And not being able to control um, magic sometimes, especially what goes on behind the scenes, drives me a bit batty. But as I age and with conscious practice, I've gotten much better at it. And then the last one we have here, oh, look at this moo cow. We have the cow spirit, huh? The miracles are endless. Endless. We have endless miracles around us. You know, the fact that you're watching this, that you're alive and watching this is a miracle. You know how many times we can get axed during the day? I mean, just by driving a car, in a car accident, or going to, you know, um, the hospital. Hospitals make mistakes all the time. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention all the, well, the horrible things that happened this past week to people. Um, the people in the synagogue, that's just horrible. And the two people at the Kroger store, horrible. And the bombs that were mailed out, the mail pipe bombs, it's just, it's amazing. You know, in this culture of hate that seems to be overtaking us, now the guy from Brazil, that president won, he was, he's totally on the, on the right, way right, and, um, totes violence, like our current 45. Um, but there's violence and hate all around. So every day that you're alive, uh, one, give thanks. And two, it is a miracle. So that you're watching this or listening to me right now, the fact that I'm speaking to you for me is a miracle. And two, it's a miracle for you because you're able to listen to me. Right? So miracles are endless and miracles are all around us. We just have to pay attention. Okay? So again, for this week, we have the bee spirit. Sweet results await. Okay? So if you put something in motion, you should be seeing some results this week. Then we have the second one, white raven spirit. Trust in the magic. When we say trust in the magic, that doesn't mean that, that doesn't mean control the situation. It means do not control the situation. Allow things to unfold like they're supposed to. And last but not least, Miracles, they're endless. They're everywhere. You have to open your eyes and pay attention. Right? So the B card was one of action. If you took action, you get results. The trust in the magic is having faith. So it's having faith this week. And the cow spirit about miracles is being present. Because if you're not present, you're not going to notice the miracles around you. Correct? What in God's name was that? You hear that noise? Yeah, I guess it's a miracle that guy's vehicle is still moving. Right? Right. So those are the three cards we got. <coughs> Again, if you'd like to see what they look like, if you don't want to Google them, you can go to the YouTube video and take a look. 
All right, so the topic. Seven ways to appreciate achievement. Do you appreciate the good you do in what you have accomplished? Now, we are stuck nowadays in reliving where we screw up. <laughs> or where we lived a life lesson, maybe uh, once or twice, maybe three times. But we, we live through that so often that we forget to appreciate what we do accomplish. And sometimes you will have a day where the only achievement you do accomplish is getting out of bed. We've all had days like that. Celebrate the fact you got up. Okay? That is an accomplishment for you. If we celebrate our accomplishments um, more than our uh, life of hard knocks or our life lessons or <laughs> whatever seems to be twirling about that doesn't seem to favor us, I think we'd be just a tad bit happier. Maybe we're not over the moon happy, but at least a tad bit happy. And anything more in the happiness department is a good thing. So. Seven ways to appreciate achievement. One, celebrate your own achievements. Now, you know, I love Hollywood. I'm not going to lie. And those guys are always getting awards. They're getting Lifetime Achievement Awards. They're getting, you know, Oscars and Emmys and um, Screen Actors Guild and the Writers Guild, Directors Guild. They're all giving awards. These, these guys do something good. We're like, whoo, here's an award. Get up there, take a picture, and smile. Just because you're not famous doesn't mean you shouldn't give yourself an award when you do something well or accomplish something. Say, like, for instance, me, <coughs> Soulful Connections, that has taken me flipping forever to finish. When I do finish it, I'm going to celebrate that accomplishment by allowing myself a new smartphone that I desperately need. But I'm not going to get one until it's done. So that's my reward for my accomplishment. You need to celebrate and reward yourself, too. The next time someone recognizes an achievement of yours, uh, don't say, ah, it's no big deal. Don't do that. If somebody acknowledges you for something, hey, you did a good job, hey, that what a great achievement of that, you say, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And if you can, write them a thank you card. Not a thank you email, not a thank you text. But something that actually goes in the mail, snail mail, and takes a day or two to get to somebody, it's a lost art. So that's something, it's a nice little touch to do when someone recognizes an achievement of yours. Three, appreciate the achievement of others. Don't be jealous of them. Appreciate their achievements. Because as we all know, <laughs> achieving something is not always the easiest thing to do. So appreciate the achievements of others. Congratulate them. Be genuine in your um, praise. Okay? If, you, if you're doing something just to kind of schmooze and try to get a favor later on, um, that always ends up coming out. You know? You always end up being found out. So be genuine in your praise to the other person. Four. If you feel that you're a bit light on the achievement scale, uh, you might want to figure out why. Why are you light on the achievement scale? Myself, why am I light on the achievement scale when it came to that book? Or any books? I'm a very, I am, if you don't know me, I'm a very creative person. I have more stories in my, in my pinky <laughs> than most people have in their head, or entire body. Um, I have notes for stories everywhere. I have boxes full of notes. I, my Evernote is full of notes for story ideas. I do my Instagram. Is I write a story prompt just about every single day. I have constant ideas. But I don't actually take those ideas and actually, I don't know, do something with them. <clears throat> so why is that? Well, if this happens to you. You might want to figure out, well, what's your goal? Do you have any goals? Have you defined any goals? Because, you know, I haven't. <laughs> Not going to lie about that. So what you do is you take a goal, a high-level goal, and break it down. I've gone through goals. Trust me, they're there on the Ask Alley podcast someplace. 
figure out your goals, number one, that's a good lesson for me, figure out your goals, and then set out how you're going to accomplish them. Okay? Five, an achievement people seem to overlook is the achievement of helping others. It doesn't have to be big, grand gestures of helping others. And maybe, you know, most people don't do it for, you know, a pat on the back. But because you do it, and because you are that type of kind soul, whether it's people, places, the environment, animals, the elderly, pat yourself on the back. Treat yourself to something little for going out there and helping people. It could even be, you know, helping someone with their groceries. This, you know, renewed my faith in humanity. <clears throat> on Friday, I was at Aldi's. I love Aldi's. And my son and I were there, and we were packing up our car full of our goodies we just bought. And this woman bought a lot of cans. I don't know what she got. But she had it in a box. And she went to pick this box up to put it in her car, and the box broke, and all the cans went down into her car, spilling everywhere. And before we could even react, really, to it, the gentleman that was parked next to me got out of his car, walked right over to her, and said, I will go into Aldi's and get you a big box to put that in. He goes, don't do anything. I'll be right back. And so my son and I, we sat there, and sure enough, he went in, and a few minutes later, he came back out with this box, and he helped her repack all the soups. I'm guessing it's soups because of the cans. All the cans, and then put the cans into her car for her. And I thought that was the nicest thing. He wasn't prompted at all to do it. Something happened. He saw someone needed help, and there he was. That was an achievement for him that day, so I hope he patted himself on the back. Okay? All right. Six, read about the achievement of others. One good way to get yourself going for your own achievements is to read what other people achieve. I like to watch Shark Tank. I watch it every week. Um, I like the business ideas. I like the bantering. Um, <clears throat> I know never to get into, into the, uh, the food industry because the space is too costly and, and uh, packed. Um, so I don't ever go into food. At least that goes in the stores. But watching them, the sharks talk about their achievements. And they're not shy about those achievements, trust me. They talk about their achievements. And the entrepreneurs that come in asking for, minute, for money talk about their achievements. And that's what I like listening to the most. The business ideas and advice I get is secondary. I like listening to the entrepreneurs the different achievements they had to make to get to that spot to be on Shark Tank because it's a lengthy process. And the sharks, to be a shark, you have to make a lot of achievements to get there. So I like listening to the achievements of others. Maybe that will help you as well to have more achievements of your own if you pay attention to um, somebody that you admire. And number seven, you want to appreciate your achievements, but at the same time, you don't always want to, you know, be patting your back and just say, oh, I'm just the best person in the whole wide world, right? You are the best person in the whole wide world, don't get me wrong, but you can't just do something and always pat yourself on the back. I mean, always. You always want to appreciate yourself, but you don't want to over-appreciate yourself to a point where you are telling everybody how much you appreciate yourself. You see the difference? So... Appreciate, but don't over appreciate. Okay? All right. So we're here at the end. Thank you for joining me here at Ask Alley. If you like this episode, please rate it and tell your friends. The more people who listen, the more people hopefully I can help have their aha moments. Join me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can catch this at AskAlleyPodcast.com or if I remember to upload it, OutofBodyExtasy.com. You guys have yourself a fantastic week, and I will catch you next Monday. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.